Good afternoon, I'm Vincent Hill. Here are your trending stories in green country. Broken Arrow police responded to a fatal accident involving a vehicle and a person on a bicycle near Garnett and 129th Avenue. Police say a pickup truck struck the person on the bicycle just after 930 this morning. There is no evidence the driver of that truck was intoxicated. The victim's name has not yet been released. Covering Cherokee County, several agencies are working to get drunk drivers off the streets with an NDUI sobriety checkpoint. The checkpoint will take place this Saturday during the music festival along Illinois River. OHP, sheriff's deputies, and local police will be taking part. And here in Tulsa, it's 918 day, which of course matches our area code. Mayor, Mayor G.T. Bynum started the celebration last year in order to bring the community together. The mayor kicked off the celebration at midnight with a 24-hour tour of the city, making stops at Reading Partners of Tulsa and the Tulsa International Airport, among other locations. And it's almost time for the Tulsa State Fair. It kicks off on September 26th at the Tulsa Expo Center. And over the next few days, you may see some of the rides being set up. Vendors and concessions will begin moving in next week. Now, here's a look at your weather. And temperature is going to remain warm for the rest of your Wednesday evening overnight. Lows dropping into the lower 70s, but Thursday and Friday, we are just a hair cooler. But we are tracking some rainfall as well, especially as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So for the start of your day, going to remain mostly sunny. Uh, cloud cover building in by your lunchtime hour. As we head into your late afternoon and into the evening, we start to see those isolated storms moving in from the south to southeast. Those are going to be all a part of the remains of that tropical system now impacting portions of coastal Texas. So as we head into your Friday, temperatures in the 80s going to feel just a little bit more like fall before we are seeing some more showers showers and storms for Saturday. Cold front passing through, keeping those temperatures in the 80s all throughout next week. Wednesday back into those 90s. Fall like weather just can't get here soon enough. All right, thanks so much, Kerrigan. Keep up with the day's news on our app and website and look for live coverage during our regular newscast at 5 and 6 tonight. We'll bring you another update right here at 630.